welcome back to the worst channel on YouTube. And uh, you know, I have to welcome the new year with a new video, of course. And, uh, and in this video, we'll be looking at of the greatest basketball player of all time. And uh, just like anybody that handles balls well, you know, we have to talk about them. So we'll be talking about Julian Newman. By fifth grade, he was playing varsity basketball. Of course, his dad was the coach. So, you know, but he was still solid, you know, he's, he's not a bad player, for, especially for a kid who's in fifth grade. Uh, there's a lot of hype coming around him, like, well, this kid's in fifth grade, how good can he be? You know, you just got to see how, how he grows and he develops in his game. Of course, um, tragedy struck, where um, he wasn't six foot. No, he was... Uh, he grew to be 5'7", which I think is a little bit of an overestimate, but we'll give it to him 5'7". Not a bad height. That's not necessarily super short, but in the game of basketball, that's pretty short. Now, I'm not going to make fun of him for being short, because that sucks, you know. I can't imagine putting all this work in, and you're being stopped by your genetic traits. That would suck, of course. So, I'll be making fun of everything else. Of course, this meant that over time, you know, um, I'm sort of like this uh, sports entertainment, more on like the behind-the-scenes type of thing. Uh, decided to give Julian Newman and his family uh, a show on a YouTube channel. Of course, this resulted in the greatest reality TV show to ever touch any film, digital or physical, you know, just in case you want to get technical. And uh, there's nothing better that I can think of than to start the new year watching this young man bounce some balls. So let's jump right into it. Getting ready for this huge game versus Spire Academy, Lamella Ball, BBB. The biggest game in history. The biggest game in history, damn. Yeah, they're right. I, I mean, I was thinking like things along like, you know, the USA and Russia playing each other during the Cold War in hockey, and that was probably not a big deal, you know. Uh, you know, the game seven of the 2016 uh, NBA Finals, not really, doesn't got anything on Lamella Ball. Because, as we know, LaMelo Ball and Jaden Newman are the only two human beings in existence. So, they're the only ones that matter. Baby, get your merch. Okay, get you your merch. Down? This is more than a game. This is Prodigy Grand's pop-up shop launch. So, yeah, uh, please buy as much merch as you can. I actually can't support any more of my family. Uh, we've lost all our money. Uh, I didn't realize that you're not supposed to give your money to people in a Ponzi scheme and a pyramid scheme but I thought those were all good shapes and ideas so I'm actually completely out of money so please buy my merch and uh, yeah my kid plays basketball so you, that's why you should buy it alright cool watch out BBB we coming I like, I like how he looks like he's reading a script like probably didn't even want to say that he's like uh, alright um, watch out BBB we're coming coming real hard it's gonna be no stop. Everybody knows about me. I don't stop. If you go to the bathroom, it's gonna be in a cup. Damn, I don't... Damn, that's pretty impressive. He, he doesn't stop, so... You know, gas don't need it. Um, you know, tire stops working, don't need it. Car stops working, don't need it. You just don't stop. Julian's dead, <laughs> don't need to stop. Mm -hmm. That is the prodigy way. That is how Julian Newman got to where he is. They said they were coming, right? Yeah, they should be coming. We were supposed to all go to dinner together, but we come downstairs and Julian's gone. Smart guy. Let me see, how many views does this have? Oh, great. What a great look to make in front of a four and a half million people. You know, just ditching your girlfriend, ignoring your sister, after you've told them, let's go out. Great move. Um, honestly, the Prodigy way is pretty unstoppable at this point. I don't think any of us can ever stop it. Take a nap, go to Zion game. Zion? He's making it look easy. Maybe I shouldn't make kids Zion. Maybe he'll be like really successful at whatever he does. Seems to work out. I only have ever heard of two Zions. Actually three if you count the one from the Matrix. And they worked out pretty good. So I think that might be the move. Yep, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna name my kid Zion. The Zion's game over, we hop on the court and get a last minute practice. My dad's MIA, so my assistant coach is taking over. See, you can't, you can't just uh, disappear during practice or before the practice, I should say, and uh, act like it's not a big deal. You know, being like, well, I mean, I, I have been hyping up this game, but I, I don't have to show up. It's whatever. You know, you, you can't do that <laughs> after you've been, after you've been hyping up this game. 
it was the biggest thing to ever happen. And then be like, well, you know, practice isn't really a thing. So, whatever. Bye. You're going to have UCLA, Kentucky, Louisville, USC, Western Kentucky, Dayton, Baylor. NASA, the president, the USSR, actual communism, and, of course, the most important of them all, Joe. You win tomorrow? No one cares about LeBron. You won't hear about uh, Houston. I like how this guy in the hoodie, the the second guy to the end, he's trying not to laugh. You know, he's like, and I, I, it's also funny how, <laughs> like, Julian's barely paying attention, and his, you know, his dad's like trying not to laugh. I'm guessing this is probably like the 12th or 15th take of the speech, and they're probably all just trying to get it over with. And you know, obviously, the guys that are recording and the directors probably like, please, uh, Julian's dad, stop. Look, you've equated this to LeBron and, you know, actual NBA players. And that's fine. But you need to stop equating this win as being bigger news than the cure for Alzheimer's. Uh, I know you keep forgetting that it's not okay to say that. And I'm, I'm really confused as to why you keep forgetting. But you need to stop forgetting that I'm telling you to not say that. Okay? That's enough. That's like the eighth time you need to stop. It's not okay. This is bigger than LeBron, the cure for Alzheimer's. And I can't remember what else. We're undefeated here in Kentucky, right? We're gonna keep it like that. I mean, I mean, I'm undefeated in Kentucky. I, I don't see why it's a big deal. I've never lost there. You got a medium in there? XL and XL. Man, I do ask for a medium, and you were like, you know, bro, you you an XL, XL? Yeah. I was like, damn. I didn't have to do him like that. Homie was just trying to look, you know, probably working out a little bit. You know, he's trying to feel confident. You hit him with the nah, bro. You need three sizes bigger. I'm sorry. Mm, not gonna breathe in that. Sorry. It, it was crazy. It was more than I could ever ask for or think for. The crowd left BBB, everybody, and the whole place just shifted over to Prodigy Brand. Yeah, you know, you probably do have to better merch. It's definitely not the fact that, you know, Big Brother Brand's like $800 for a pair of shoes. It's not that. It's definitely the fact that in this school with kids that probably got like 20 bucks or 50 bucks to spend, you know, like, well, the cheapest thing we have at the Big Baller brand um, pop-up shop or, you know, table is a $800 shoe, and, you know, $1,000 hoodies, $1,600 socks. Um, they can't really afford that, so I'm assuming that's why they're with you, but maybe I'm wrong, and maybe it is the, the amazing quality and the fact that people know who Julian Newman is more than they know who LaMelo Ball is, the NBA player. I'm the internet. The internet. Like, I know what he means, obviously, like, the Wi-Fi is down, but it's just, it's really funny just to hear somebody just be like, the internet, like, the, the internet, like, like, sir, we're, we're, we're paying you with cash, the, the internet, the internet, like, <laughs> the internet. You only came out, hit a couple threes. Did I hear that right? What? Repeat that? And one, and one. I'm sorry. Did you just say and one on an open three? She needs to leave. Can't play basketball with people like that. Open three. No, no. Nobody near them. And one. Goes up for a layup. And one. Nope. Automatically, you're, you're done. Jaden, you're off the show. I know this is over a year old, and I have no power over this show, but you're gone. I don't care. I'm going to find that you're gone. I, you're no longer part of the family. All right? She's gone. I'm going to go to the next episode. You know, I, I, I have to know. I have to know who won between Julian and LaMelo. It's killing me. Last oh, you that corner. That's the that's the face of a man who's lost all hope for his child and his team. You once you get that type of uh you know lobs in the game, it's over. They're just playing with them at that point, you know, like just toying with their food. But at least I'm going to take a picture with Melo. I gotta see him. Where Melo? Where is he? Can you imagine? You just got you just got cooked. And your sister wants to meet your opponent and take his picture and wait for him like that. That's 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 betrayal right there. She she was already gone, but now she's definitely gone. That that must have hurt. Julian definitely cried himself to sleep that night for sure, no doubt about it. Can you can you follow me back on Instagram? Yeah, I don't run it. Huh? I don't run it. <laughs> Why they keep that in, man? That's just sad. He literally said, I don't even run my Instagram page. What are you talking about, bro? I can't follow you back. Oh, that hurts. That hurt me. That hurt me. That wasn't even me.
Why you keep that in, man? Where did this? They should have just cut that out. Ah, it's terrible. Ah, it hurts my heart. Ah. Someone might get hurt. Oh! You're on that phone. You live down I hit the concrete. Yeah, you're fing stupid. You know, can you imagine? And, you know, he's like, oh, dude, I just fell on the concrete. And he's like, oh, let me check it out, dude. Dumbass. Then that fing got the gang to everything. Nah, 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 nah. What's up, that? I didn't even see him in a wife beater, man. I didn't even see him in that, you know, tank top. That was just completely unnecessary. I would have appreciated a warning of some sort, at least, <laughs> with him looking like that. Like, Jesus Christ, I didn't have to see those guns. I didn't have to see all that. I didn't have to see that he looks like one big ass thumb. Like, damn. You did it! Shut the f up! No one's talking to you! Shut up! <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Shut up! Listen to the point. We love you guys. If we don't say stuff to you, we don't love you. Hope you die. I hope you get Alzheimer's. I hope there's snow in your driveway. I hate you. I really hope you die. That's you gotta say it twice just so you know. I hope you die. But actually, if I don't tell you anything, it means I love you. You know, as you know, screaming and uh, yelling at you means that I love you. That's my he very healthy way of showing that I love you. It's tough taking two L's in a row, but we're all family. Um, that was definitely three L's. Your sister abandoning you for the guy you just got blown out by. That's definitely your third L of that day. So. That's unfortunate. Now, I, I am inclined to just end it there, but I think we have to watch just one more of these episodes. Um, because um, Jaden Newman, uh, Julie Newman's sister, um, dropped a song, and I truly think that we would all be blessed if we were to watch it. I think our lives would improve, and I think in, it, it would work great. So I'm going to bless your day by having you watch greatest song of all time you're a victim this, the song should stop right there that's it that's the whole song the, the, i don't need it you shouldn't have made it you shouldn't have made the song why are you telling me this tell the fbi tell somebody else you should not be rapping about how you're getting texts from grown men talking to underage girls that shouldn't be part of your lyrics that should be the lyrics to the fbi that you start singing when you report a crime and if you sleep <laughs> Is, is this the fully grown man she was talking about? Because that looks like a fully grown man in uh, high school. Uh, maybe that's why she's getting DMs from fully grown men. Uh, they're just going to her school. And uh, they're just, you know, they held back a few years. The usual. Um, I don't know. Uh, because that's a 30-year-old man. So I hope that's what they're talking about. And not actually grown men. Because then, you know, of course, you got to go straight to the FBI with that information. If you see me, don't be coming at me crazy. Security said that I need my space safe. This, this is, um, let's talk about the lyricism, you know, I, 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 I want you to understand how amazing this song is. So, you know, she's trying to rap, which I can't say I would do better, so she's, that's fine. So the lyric goes, now Prodigy on the beat A, the song is a hit, keep it on repeat A. So she just rhymed the same word with the same word, uh, but it gets better. If you see me, don't come at me crazy, right? So she's crazy, crazy. So she's rhymed A with crazy, right? Close enough. Security said that I need my space, A. So she just rhymed um, A with itself twice. Rhymed it with a word that actually doesn't really rhyme with it. Just made it sound like it rhymed and then repeated the same word again. Yeah, all right, cool. Um, I'm ready to drop my song now. Uh, I think I could do it. Yeah, it's ready. Yeah, for sure. Okay, that's enough of that. If you want to cop an I Run It t-shirt, make sure you click the pinned comment below the video. Seriously, man, we almost sold out. Click that link below. Almost sold out? Can I still buy one? I mean, I know this video is like a year old, but can I still buy one? Oh, man, no. They sold out. They did run out. Oh, my God. I guess if you do run it, you, you run out. Time to go die. I think that's enough Newman family for one day. Um, if you want me to, you know, do more videos on them or on any other topic, just let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I can definitely find more cringy content from the Hello Newman show. Trust me, I can. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe. Uh, I will be trying to upload more regularly now. Um, thank you for watching. Really do appreciate you if you made it, especially this far into the video. I don't know what compelled you. You have uh, nerves of steel. And in my next video, I'll drop my mixtape.